Offset asked Bacardi to marry him at his Philly concert. If you missed the special moment, link is popping up and it's down below. Anyway, Bacardi Offset wedding will definitely make millions. <laughs> and BET wasted no time trying to snag the deal. They comment under the shade room mean. Hashtag we got you when you're ready. But Mona Scott, who's always about her paper, shut that offer down quickly. Love you BET, but hashtag we got this. Hashtag another check from Mona Scott. Hashtag for Forever. It sounds like Mona is using her loyalty card because we wouldn't know who Bacardi was if it wasn't for Mona Scott. But BT is coughing up the big bucks though. That's why Keisha and Gucci chose BT because they were the ones that paid $1.7 million for their wedding. So technically, they didn't even have to pay for their wedding because it was already paid for. I, I don't think I would have used the whole $1.7 million, but hey to each his own. Question, do you think loyalty outweighs securing the bag though? Should Carly B be about her money or do she owe this to Mona Scott to go to VH1 and do the special? I mean, for audience purposes, I would prefer VH1. And, and that's my second question. As far as how this show would play out, would you go with VH1 or would you choose BT? I didn't really like how Gucci and Keisha wedding played out. I felt like it was a lot of boring parts. They were dragging it. People were unprepared. The concept which they sold from Yandy and Mandizi was a good idea. But the execution as far as BT trying to reenact it, it was poor. But at the end of the day, Keisha had a $1.7 million wedding that she didn't even have to pay for though. Does the money outweigh the loyalty that's what i want to know leave your comments down below let me know what you're thinking until next time peace